In this week's special edition of Underground Artist, I'm excited to share with you bits and pieces of an interview that I was able to do with British singer-songwriter, guitarist, artist coach, and overall life enthusiast, Luke Kincannon. I'm not doing nothing at all, doing nothing at all with my life. funny to me to just realize how English my accent sounds to you. Yes. <laughs> Life. Thank you so much for being on this Underground Artist episode with me here today. Thanks for asking. It's really fun. It's really fun to talk with you. And, and then we're talking with other people too. So hello, everybody. Yeah. Bye. yeah. Oh, it's so fun to talk about. I... I remember my dad picking me up from school when I would have been sort of six and he had a like a little penny whistle, an Irish tin whistle. He just whipped it out and he, in the playground as we were leaving school, he played um, this Irish melody, The Lonesome Boatman. Really kind of magical melody. Mm -hmm. And he did this with this little piece of metal and I was six and I was just like, this is the best magic trick ever. <laughs> like how he just took this piece of metal out and there's suddenly like magic happening. Growing up with a musical dad, uh, he, he practiced a lot of Irish bagpipes when I was growing up as well. So I'd be constantly hearing these very old tunes. And the cool thing about folk music, the tradition we come from is everyone just has a go. Yeah. And if someone, you know, starts a song and they're like, uh, <laughs> someone will go lovely lovely michael i know <laughs> that <Yeah. laughs> people are encouraging and they really listen interesting and, and actually that's what we need right real respect and listening and real encouragement and i think that's why i'm a musician because i grew up in that culture sort of feel like I'm somewhere between Van Morrison and Leonard Cohen. So I love that Van Morrison thing of making beautiful rhythmic melodies. And I grew up with that. Mm -hmm. And from the heart, I also love the Leonard Cohen thing of going really deep with poetry. Like the song that you started this interview with, um, the single that we put out at the beginning of the month doing nothing. I feel like that is pretty quintessential because it's simple and melodic and I just try to be really honest. So it's, you know, like just being honest about my UFC, <laughs> UFC watching. I just think I, I, where I'm just like, like, so yeah, trying to be, trying to use words to really be specific. And I think that that's what poetry can be good at is um, evoking and yeah, being being truthful. So yeah. that's a good example. Uh, yeah, and yeah. continuing with that, I, I'm really curious to see how this single kind of fits into your album that's coming up, The Ecstatic Bird and the Burning, uh, that's coming out pretty soon here. How does it fit into to your album? The title says it well, like they're sort of ecstatic songs in a burning world mm -hmm. so there's like the suffering of being in a dying time in the world and the ecstasy that we're here at all yeah yeah and that it's beautiful it's a beautiful world yeah. as well as a the human world is pretty crazy just now last question what is the biggest piece of advice that you would give young artists in today's world of music? Keep your banjo in tune and don't set fire to your tea. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. I, ex I expected nothing less. <laughs> Always keep your banjo in tune and don't set fire to your tea. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, advice... Um, what's it like to really tune into your own 
in a quiet little voice and what is it saying and then being bold and following it and being generous yeah thank you so much luke it's been a pleasure i know you're a very busy man so thank you for cutting some time out for me um it's been a been an honor chatting with yeah you. it's great to see you and um um yeah i don't want to be so busy that i can't hang out with you so yeah <laughs>